It's yep. also dangerous, though, because when a Republican president will eventually get back into office, we will see attorney generals in different states say, hey, let's go indict a former Democrat. Let's go investigate until we find something. A good prosecutor could indict a rock. So mm. right. we, don't, Demi- we don't know what the indictment is right now. It's definitely a process crime, which is kind of a joke. And years ago, they got Martha Stewart on a process crime. So when you bring enough of a staff in front of the grand jury and somebody forgets one little thing because they can't have the exact memory, oh, the, you're lying. So mm. it's very easy when you have the whole weight of the Justice Department behind you, millions of dollars, they can get you on anything. This mm-hmm. is a real joke. They're not going to get him that he's holding documents because he's ex-president. Then you'd have to go get Biden. You'd have to go get Pence. You'd have to go get Obama. So it's just going to be a silly process crime, but they want to stop Trump from running. And they want to stop him from... Do you guys want to see when a Republican is eventually president again that um, attorney generals from red states go after yes. former Democrat? Absolutely. And former Republicans. All former Republicans. Go too. after Bush. Yeah. Go after but Obama. So go after Biden. That's go after what, all of them. That's not how it would be, though. It'd be hyper Depends on the Republican, but you're probably right. It, most Republicans wouldn't. But I think somebody like Trump would. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think part of what makes this country great and has made it great is that we haven't fallen into petty squabble like that in not 250 years. Like we just don't do that because right. we got bigger dish, bigger Sh- issues. Short, short, shorten your time span here, buddy. Okay, 160. Years. Yeah, I mean it's been since years. the Civil War, you could say. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Okay. But <laughs> well, for I the most part, part petty squabble that was that wasn't yeah, petty. Was yeah, that, that was a big deal. We had to end slavery, and and you know there was it was a big problem. But this is like. Just the he said, she said, he's carrying a box of documents. He, he, he signed this paperwork. He ordered that kill. He ordered that kill. Like, yo, it's the biggest military in the world. It's the most dangerous machine on earth. And someone's got to point the buttons, point the, point the guns. Um, I, I just, there's so many more bigger problems on earth that we should be focused on than, than arresting past po- political opponents. It's so ridiculous, man. It's a dangerous, oh, no, sorry. I, dangerous I, no, escalation I just, of a tit for tat is what's going to happen. Well, this is what's really shocking. I, I shouldn't say shocking, but something worth pointing out. And it's that there are two segments of the population, and they're relatively large demographics. Okay? These are people who are either in category A, willfully ignorant, or in category B, not willfully ignorant, who believe that this is the first time since Nixon that an American president has done something worthy of pursuing with an indictment or charges there are people who are looking at this and they're saying oh my goodness all of our presidents have behaved within the law and haven't committed war crimes haven't betrayed the american people haven't betrayed their oath of office and then donald trump came along and there are good reasons to indict that man and the best of them is that he had declassified documents that he declassified himself people are willing to believe this well the remarkable thing is the logic makes no sense. If Trump can't declassify anything at any time, then he's literally not the authority of this country to have conversations pertaining to war. Mm-hmm. How can you be the commander in chief of the armed forces? And then this is the example I gave last time. It's like you meet with Vladimir Putin and he's like, you know, I, I want you to move these missiles out of this territory. What missiles? Yeah. As well, OK, we know the U.S. has missiles here. You move them. Otherwise, it's war. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't confirm or deny. I don't have the authority. 